All right, so let's repeat this exercise for a different function, different center. This time we're going to do the natural log centered at 1. Okay. Um, oh, just the natural log. Just log x. I think we want to do it that way, okay? So we want to do f of x is the natural log of x. Center that thing at 1. So same routine. We start taking derivatives. We start evaluating. Okay f of x is log x, f prime, 1 over x, f double prime is minus 1 over x squared, f triple prime is going to be, so that's minus 2, so we get 2 over x cubed. Fourth derivative, we get minus 6 over x to the 4. Um, and so on. And so hopefully eventually you kind of catch the pattern. The nth derivative, well, there's a sign factor there. It's negative when n is even. It's positive when n is odd. So we're going to get minus 1 to the n plus 1, right? The plus 1 gets us to that. Uh, we have, let's see, 1, 1, 2. Okay. So we have a, and we can do minus 1, I guess. There's a factorial on top, right? 1, 2, 6, right? Next one we multiply by 4. But the factorial is always one less than the derivative. So there's an n minus 1 factorial divided by x to the n. Okay. So we work out a formula, right? This time we can actually sort of, we spot the pattern. We can write down the formula right away. Now that we have that formula, we can say, OK, we want to center at 1, right? So that means we're looking for a polynomial that looks like this. And going from 0 to infinity, nth derivative at 1 over n factorial, x minus 1 to the n, OK? So we're looking for that. Uh, so we got to evaluate all of these at 1, OK? So let's see f of, well, f of 1 is 0, f prime of 1 is 1 minus the other, well, let's just plug it in down here, right? Um, the nth derivative at 1 is equal to minus 1 to the n plus 1 times n minus 1 factorial, well, divided by 1 to the n, that's just 1. And hey, while we're at it, let's put the n factorial in there, right? And remember, the n factorial is just n times n minus 1 factorial. So we can simplify this down to minus 1 to the n plus 1 over n, right? And notice that we have to do this. We don't include 0 here, right? n here has to be bigger than 0, right? Or if you like, n is bigger than or equal to 1, right? f of 0 is 0. So our sum is actually going to start at 1 because f of 0, or f of 1 is equal to 0. And so what we get for our power series is we get this. We get the sum and going from 1 to infinity, minus 1 to the n plus 1 over n times x minus 1 to the n. There we have it.